Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I was going to do a video about a parody little beat that I thought of. It was like this. That was like this parody little beat I was playing the other day. But then I thought I'd never done like a proper bucket lesson on just the basic beat that I play on the bucket. I did a video about this beat. But not one about this. Unless I did one and forgot about it. But anyway, you're gonna get a lesson today about the basic bucket beat. Um, so basic, so what it consists of, this beat, is the single stroke roll. That's all it is, the single stroke roll. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Pretty simple. And then all we have to do is add the bass drum and the snare drum sounds. And the bass drum sound, you lift up the bucket. And for the snare drum sound, you hit the stick completely flat across the top. Like that. So, an easy way to practice this beat is to break it down one hand at a time. So we're going to start with our right hand. And what the right hand plays is... So that's how you can break it down. Take it slowly, make sure you can get a good bass sound and a good snare hair sound out of the bucket. So it might take a bit of adjusting to get the right sound that you want from whatever bucket you're using. But that's, that's pretty much it. So once you can do that, you can start adding in the left hand. And like I said before, it's just a single stroke roll. So. simple as that. The whole practice that beat is single strokes because the whole thing is just single stroke roll. So you can start just on the ring here with just singles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you can just add in accents where the bass drum and snare would be. you're comfortable with playing those accents, you can move the accents to the other parts of the bucket. And that's how you play it. Now from there, it's, it's simple to, it's not simple, it's easy to add on other different hits to uh, mix the beat up a bit. For example, you can go from this. You can just add in an extra hit with your right hand on the bass drum. Like that, but 
make it slow. Uh, any of these fast combinations that you see me doing, you can play them as well, uh, as long as you just start slowly. If you just start really slow, concentrate, and think about the beat as a whole, you have enough time to execute the coordination that you need to play lots of different combinations. And when you can play it, all you have to do is just get comfortable with it and the speed will come, the endurance will come, and finally you'll have just an arsenal of cool bucket beats.